Did you know that the people of Israel, when they came to the Feast of Tabernacles, were instructed to bring certain sacrifices here in the temple in Jerusalem? As a matter of fact, in Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 16, Israel is instructed when they come to the great pilgrimage feasts, Passover, Shavuot, or the Feast of Pentecost, and Sukkot, or the Feast of Tabernacles, that they should not appear empty-handed before the Lord. That means they should not only come expecting to receive something, but they should be equipped to bring something in return to the Lord. And then also in Numbers chapter 29, there is a whole series of instruction of various sacrifices that the Lord commanded Israel to bring. The priests would bring every day a certain amount of bulls, 70 in the whole week of, of the Feast of Tabernacles, and almost 100 lambs during the entire week. That means it was a celebration of sacrifice and offerings to the Lord. And those 70 bulls, the rabbis, explain that they represent the 70 nation of the world. That means they are going to bless the whole world during Sukkot. And that's exactly what we experience also when we come to Jerusalem, that the nations are bringing their own national requests before the Lord. But then also as they were bringing those sacrifices in the temple, the Talmud reports to us that they would circle the altar and they had a special song on their lips. They were quoting Psalm 118, which says, Hodu ladonai kitov ki leolam chasto, give thanks to the Lord because he is good and his mercy endures forever. A powerful declaration of the goodness of God. And they would continue with verse 24, Five, Hoshiana Adonai, Lord, save us, give us prosperity, and give us, uh, let our, our ways be prosperous. That means they were praying for a personal breakthrough as they were circling the altar right here on the Temple Mount. But then on the seventh day, the last day of the feast, something special took place. They not only would once circle the temple, declaring the goodness of the Lord, asking, Lord, save us, but they would circle the altar for seven days, for seven times, exactly like Joshua would do it in the city of Jericho. Meaning they understood that some of those prayers that they bring forth to the Lord, they are not just done with one single prayer, but they require require a certain breakthrough level of intercession. And let me tell you, when you come this year to the Feast of Tabernacles, there will be every single day a prayer meeting where we will pray for your needs that you bring to Jerusalem. And not only that, there will be one particular day where there will be prayer from morning to evening. And it will be prayer in many different languages. Why do we do that? Because we believe we are serving a prayer answering God. We believe that God can answer those breakthrough requests that you might have in your life right here in Jerusalem during the Feast of Tabernacles. So I look forward to seeing you in Jerusalem, joining us as you bring your petition to the Lord right here in the city of the Lord. And we expect great breakthroughs. I look forward to seeing you right here in Jerusalem.